So neither in the previous video, we talked about uh, having a resume that will be standing out from the crowd. So the candidate applied and now the recruiter have five or six seconds and they're scanning either a yes or a no. In case of a yes, it will be either a phone interview and then after the phone, it will be face to face. So in that sense, what tips you have for job seekers in order to be prepared for either the phone interview and then if there's anything different for a face-to-face -face or via Zoom these days? Great question. So in the previous video, we talked about writing a one-page resume. And yeah. you know, when it comes to telling our past experiences, the story of our past, you know, on paper, when we write something down, we use the STAR method. Uh, yeah. Stands for situation, task, action, and results. Yeah. Now, when it comes to an interview, because you're present and you can use your language, you can actively communicate, I take my clients through a more advanced version of STAR. It's uh, STAR with three R's. So it's mm -hmm. S-T-A-R-R-R. -R -R. So what the extra two R's are, are for backwards reflection and forwards reflection. So we still talk about, start by talking about the situation. This yeah. is the company. This is what our company does, this is my team does. It's just has nothing to do, you know, before, before I joined the company, before I joined that team, that's what that team was responsible yeah. for. Then we go to the T. This is what I was assigned. Yeah. So when we go talk about tasks that were assigned to us, we focus on we're very problem driven. You know, we talk about the problems that we faced on, on the path. So I was expected to solve these problems. Yeah. Then we go to talk about the A, which is the actions. This is how I solve that problem. Then the first R. The first R, this, these are the results. This is what yeah. happened at the end. Now, we don't stop there. We go through two more R's. The second R is to reflect backwards. So mm -hmm. what I get my clients to say is specifically this. I tell them to say, and this is what the outcome was. And what I learned from that experience mm -hmm. was, so now you're reflecting backwards. Now that I see I went through that situation, that task, that action, that result, this is what I learned from that experience. Nice. So you reflect backwards. Sometimes you learn positive things. Sometimes you learn that, hey, I made a mistake. I really screwed yeah. up. I'm not going to do, you know, so we talk, think, we reflect our thoughts, our reflections of the past. Yeah. And the third R in that star, new advanced star method is to reflect forward. So mm. based on that experience, now that you reflect forward and you visualize coming across a similar task, a similar situation in the future, yeah. how would you do it differently? Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I say, how would you strengthen your skills? How would you do it differently? How would you do it better? How would you improve your results? Yeah. So that's the forward reflection or forward visualization or forward strengthening mm -hmm. of, of the outcome. If you were to come across a similar situation, you were assigned a similar task. So yeah. that's something that allows you to it allows you to take full control of the interviewer's mind, really, yeah. you know, because you tell a story. And then if I was a recruiter, I have to make my own mind. It's like, well, what did he or she learn from that experience? Mm. You're not going to let that, let me make that decision by myself. Yeah. But sometimes it might be misunderstandings. misunderstanding. Yeah. You want to tell me with full clarity, full confidence and self-awareness. So I see that you're self-aware. And you say things you learned that were good. You say to me things that you messed up. And yes. you say, you know, wow, that's pretty courageous. That's brave. I'm, I'm glad he learned his experience, you know? Yeah. So I have no more doubts that you learned from that experience. And uh, you also talk to me about how you visualize coming across a similar situation. Yeah. So this just triple proofs your, uh, your answer and doesn't leave anything for guesswork. Yeah, I never heard about it. I, I opening for me even. That's good. Yeah, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a more advanced version of that, you know, that star. So that's, that's number one, which, yeah. again, it's really important. You need to be able mm -hmm. to po deliver powerful stories that are impactful. Yes. The second tip I would give you is to, again, understand the company's mission. So we yeah. talked about this in, in the last video when we talked about the first thing on your resume is that it's a mission-driven, it's a purpose-driven objective statement that is that must be aligned with the job you're applying to. So pushing this conversation forward to an interview, you need to be able to speak to that company's mission statement with mm -hmm. clear understanding. Ultimately, everybody in that company is after achieving a similar mission, which is solving a certain problem in the society, yeah. 
helping a you know, group of community, maybe a particular end user, maybe they're working with other businesses, those other businesses have problems, they come to us for services. You need to understand how business works, ultimately how this company makes money. So understand a company's mission, that's number two. My third and last tip for an interview would be, be aware of the problems that company, that business will be facing on its way to accomplishing their mission. Because every business, when the business starts and they have one owner and they start hiring people, they hire people to solve problems. Yeah. They have a business plan. You're not there to build a business plan. They already have it. They have departments. They have leaders. They have a clear mission. They begin to bring people on board to help them achieve that mission. So what you want to talk about and, in, and, and really focus on in order to influence them to hire you is to talk about potential problems that they'll be facing on their path to achieving their success, yeah. to achieving their mission, to, mm -hmm. to gaining their purpose, yeah. because that's going to show them that you have clarity, you have foresight, you, you can see what's happening in the future, mm -hmm. what could be potentially happening. I want to help them avoid disaster and prepare, prepare for solving problems as they arise. And that's someone who is forward thinking, that's someone who has critical, you know, critical thoughts, someone who is uh who's very creative who has uh who's a, who's a visionary you know yeah so you don't have to, when i say visionary you don't don't imagine you know steve jobs or you know don't imagine like the visionary icons yeah. visionary means that okay i i want to do this thing you know i want to take my dog for a walk i see clouds outside might be raining yeah. better take take an umbrella you're a visionary you know you yeah. you predicted things that could potentially happen to you and you mm -hmm. made a decision right now that would stop you from getting so what? So make decisions based on potential up, potential futures, potential negative futures, because yeah. that's that's what you're there to avoid. Those are great tips that I really appreciate. And I hope the audience watching or listening will implement, especially the reflection and moving forward part, which we ask, I think that it's an eye opening and it, you, you can tell more about the person when they talk about that part. It will implement in their next interview. And again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips, please leave them below and tune in another, uh, next time for another great question with Nadir.